Hey friends, how's it going? Um, it's been a while since I've recorded a playthrough, so I just figured, I just figured it was snowing outside. I had to set up, um, because I was going to play through it anyhow, but I figured I might as well record it. <coughs> so, excuse me. We are playing with Ultron as our mastermind, and I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can. Probably not focused though, but that's okay. Ultron's my mastermind. You always use Ultron's legacy, which are in the villain group. I forget what the other villain is. Um, each player reveals a tech hero or puts a non gray hero from their discard pile into a threat analysis pile next to Ultron. Ultron is empowered by each color in this threat analysis pile. So, empowered means that they get plus one attack for each color. So, from the H2. So, if there is a yellow hero in our threat analysis pile, that Ultron will be empowered by all the yellow heroes that are in this HQ. Alright, and we are playing thematically the Age of Ultron scheme. Which might be a bad thing for us, but... Because <laughs> there are going to be two different piles. So I'm going to make mistakes, so I'm sorry. Um, 11 twist. And then I put the top card... So when a twist comes out, I put the top card of the hero deck next to the scheme as, as an evolution pile. Then this twist enters the city as an evolved Ultron... Villain. Evolved Ultron villains have plus four have four attack and are empowered by each color in the evolution pile. And there were six of you. That doesn't matter right now. So evil will win when there are seven evolved Ultrons are in the city or in the escape pile. So what I want to do is get those as soon as they're in there, take them out. Because they're only four attack, but they're empowered by each color in the evolution pile. So I'm gonna have to have two separate piles here. So I'm gonna do this, this my twist and masterminds and strikes over here. I'm gonna put the piles over here. So hopefully I can keep track of that. I'm gonna mess up occasionally. So and so we're playing with I forget what the villain and the henchman group are, but I set this up like a week ago. But I definitely know Ultron's legacy is in there. Um the reason why I'm playing with Ultron's legacy is because upper deck is so awesome. So in my move, I seem to have lost my Ultron Mastermind and the Ultron Legacy. I kind of I had them in like little baggies, which now I don't have them in little baggies. I have them divided up now, and I have cases for everything and everything. So I'm trying to get organized with my with my legendary because I'm also moving again. <clears throat> so I want to be organized with that so that way I don't have to deal with it. So I print out some dividers um, that were created by Richie Six Two Five on Board Game Geek. Pretty awesome. Um, and I use those and I put them on some stock paper, cut them out, and put them in these aluminum cases that are fantastic right now. <laughs> um, I do know my heroes, I think. I think because um, I want to be thematic as possible, as be as thematic as possible. So I have Wasp, Wonder Man, Vision, Ant Man, and Joe Costa. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> Okay, let's populate our HQ first and foremost. We have a wasp. Another wasp. I definitely shuffled, I promise. Another, I really shuffled. So what I do is I have, I have four wasps right here. That makes no sense. I definitely shuffled. I'm sure I shuffled an ant man. So what I do is I like to um, put all the heroes together, shuffle the hero deck at least three times with all five heroes or how many heroes um, are required for the setup. And then I put them in piles of like four, and then I shuffle those piles and put them on top. So it's kind of crazy. I got four wasps in the one AM. All right, so let's get this party started. I'm gonna do my best, excuse me, to um to play so that you all can see. I will probably forget sometimes. So we got our first card is a scheme twist, which is not fun. So that means the scheme twist enters the city. Was a four attack villain, so I'm gonna put some die on here to remind me that it's four attack and it's empowered by um, take top deck of the hero card, hero deck next to the scheme and the evolution pile. So this is an evolution pile right here, and it's gonna be empowered by range heroes. 
So they're in the range, so it's not empowered, so it's only four. Okay, only four. Like it's so one, one attack, one recruit, two recruit, two attack, two attack, four recruit. All right, and size changing meaning. Uh, if I played a hero of that class, I can get it for two less. Or if I can swap a chart, so I if I play two heroes with that class, I can get it for free pretty much for this one. Um, but right now I have four recruit with no size changing. I'm going to get this Tiny Wing Justice Loss. It is a two recruit, size changing red, that doesn't matter. But if I played a covert hero, I draw a card. Um, Alright, so that's that. Oops. Jocasta. All right, next hand. I like to play two-handed solo for those of you who have not watched my channel before or watched me play Legendary before. So let's see here. Um, we got another scheme twist. I swear I shuffled. I promise you, I shuffled both things. Um, so we're now empowered by tech and and range, tech and range. So tech, there are two tech cards here. So this is six, and I wonder if this goes up. Let me see. It has four tech, or, yep. So this is also six. So, all right, so both of these are six. All right, um, I have four and two again. Four recruit and two attack. Oh. All right. For recruit, I'm gonna get this Jocasta, this creation of Ultron Jocasta. It is two attack, and if I play the attack here, I get empowered by tech. So that should be good. And also, I have a tech hero for Ultron's Master Strike in my hand now. All right, there's Vision's double border card. All right, what do we got here? Okay, of course, we're gonna have four and two again. Four and two is the worst. No, the skin twist. I'm. This is not cool. All right. So we're empowered by tech and range right now. Let's see what else we're going to be empowered by. This is. This might be an easy. Yep. Yeah, tech. Another tech. All right. So there are one range, one tech, two tech. So it's empowered by seven. So these are seven now. So let's just go ahead and give them, this gets, everything is seven. Oh, that's crazy, that's craziness. I might have to get my other die out. All right, all right. <clears throat> so these evolved Ultron, Wait, evolved Ultrons. Oh, they're just evolved Ultrons, okay. These evolved Ultrons are like, they're seven a piece. So of course I have, Four recruit and two attack. So with the four recruit, hmm, I think I'm gonna get this Bioelectric Sting Wasp. It's one attack, and it's a covert hero. And if I play another covert hero, I get plus two attack. So that should work well with my other covert hero wasp that I have in there. All right, Ant-Man. Okay. Man, this is tough. I wasn't expecting so many skin twists to come out first. I promise I shuffled. I did the same thing with the villain deck that I do with the hero deck. I shuffle, shuffle. So since my last playthrough, I think I've I've gained four more expansions. So I have World War Hawk. I have Heroes of Asgard, Dimensions. And what was the other one? Um, Rama Kings, because it got reprinted and I was able to buy it. So, And I like Rama Kings a lot. I like um, Crystal. Crystal's great. All right. So this hand is four and two again. Thank God it's not another skin twist. This has microscopic size changing of um, tech. If I fight the Ultron Pym, a hero in the HQ with, with no size changing gains the ability of size changing check this turn. Size changing check. And it's six attack. So that's not happening with this turn. This is my, this might be real rough, everybody. So I have 
I have four recruit and two attack again. So four recruit. I don't think I can, I don't want anything in the HQ. I'm gonna buy a shield officer. I have Yo-Yo, which is my favorite shield officer. So there we go, that's it. Yo-Yo's broken, broken. Cause you can get like infinite attack. I mean, infinite recruit with her. If you play it right. Her with some phasing. Gosh, it's crazy. All right. Dun, dun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh. Okay. We are gonna. Have, oh, it was the murder world with the clowns. I don't know why I got that in here. I don't like clowns. Um, they also have what's called human shields, and so. Mrs. Locke has an ambush. Mrs. Locke captures a human shield. To reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a trap or a master strike, play it. <sighs> okay. Human shields are bystanders that are um, that have to be defeated and or rescued before you can fight the villain. And they, and they are the same um, attack as the villain that it's shielding. So, I mean, I said reveal the top card of the deck. Oh, sorry. The mass strike or a trap play it. It's not. It is an anamorphic animatronic killer clown. Ugh, gross. Okay. So here's the thing. I have four recruit and two attack. So with the two attack, I could take out that human shield. Which gives the bystander. It's the aspiring hero. So I get to gain a psychic. So gain means it just goes to my discard pile. Alright. Then I have four recruit. With the four recruit, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bioelectric sting wasp because I'm gonna try to build this red deck over here. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry to get stuck together sometimes. All right, let's see. All right, next hand. Let's see, we know it's anamorph anamorph animatronic, not anamorphic. Um, so it's gonna enter the city, which means that this is gonna escape. Which sucks. So that's one. When seven have escaped, then we lose. Okay. Now, because that escape, we have to KO something here that costs um six or less. And I think I'm going to, ah, oh no. Oh, it also has an ambush, I didn't see that, so. So order of events is you KO first, then you discard, then um, you do KO discard if you had a bystander that escaped. And then you do the escape effect and then you do the ambush. So the ambush is last, but the KO is first. So I had to figure out what I want to KO. I'm gonna KO maybe this vision. It's such a but it's a good card if I can get it to work. Uh I'm gonna KO this Wonder Man. This one hit wonder wonder man. So that gets KO'd. Um so you're empowered by so they go up. One because that's a do tech hero. Okay. So we have three tech on range. So yep, that makes sense. So so it should be four. So four plus four is eight. There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> this has an ambush effect, sorry. Um ambush and we're trying to kill a clown captures a human shield. A human shield. Oh, I forgot. Miss Locke captures two human shields, so there's one there, and then a human shield for you. Oh, okay. This hand is six recruit. So, six recruit, and this is a very tech-heavy hand. I think I'm going to get this vision. This, um, da 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 Gosh. This lighter than air, harder than diamond vision. 
It's one. It's a dual card, so it could be um, three recruit or three attack. So get that. So now, well, we'll see what comes out next. Two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, it's my nose is runny and it's cold up here in Boston. All right. Another tech hero. So one, two, three. So it's should be so it's down one. Talk about that. That was that was smart, I guess you could say. Or maybe it was, I don't know. I'm giving myself too much credit here. <laughs> it wasn't too smart, but Alright. So there's that. And then now we have to play a villain card. A Master Strike. Um Master Strike, each player reveals a tech hero. Or puts a non gray hero from the discard pile into the think analysis pile next to all charm. All charm is powered for each color in this uh, analysis. Okay, so I don't have a tech hero in this hand, so I have to put a non gray hero from my discard pile into the threat analysis pile. So we got this one. Yep, that's it. That's all we have is this wasp. So Ultron is empowered by red. <laughs> Let's see, we have a tech hero on this one. We do have a tech hero on here, so we're good. Okay, we gotta get this hand buying tech heroes. Okay. So, Ultron is empowered by red. There is one red, so he gets a plus one. Okay. All right. Play this. Two, three, recruit. Four recruit. I'm gonna play this for two recruit. So I have six recruit. And then this gets to be three. Or gets plus two attack. So plus two attack. So I have three attack and six recruit. And I can do size changing. I can do microscopic size changing for this and get this for free, which is what I will do. So I get I play two red heroes, so I can get this for free because it's two microscopic side changing. And so it's basically three costs originally, but down minus two. So I actually have one recruit additional to I think that's how that works. So so I have seven recruits still. And so it's seven recruit and three attack. Um how about I get this human shield off of this lock so I can take her out? And this one's one of the newer ones. So this is a forklift driver. When you rescue this bystander, put the num put any number of heroes from the HQ at the bottom of the hero deck. <gasps> oh, okay. So let's get these mamma jammas down. Mamma jammas. Um so I still have seven recruits. Um so we're tech. Any number of heroes. Yeah, let's put you, you, and you. So all three of them are going to the bottom. Step seven. Step seven recruit. Um, um, I played a red, so I can do size changing this. So this will be four, so I'm going to take this. Oh, what is this, Monty? This is the Swarm Tactics Wasp, and it's um, two attack, and you get plus one for each um, card you recruit this turn. Plus one attack. All right. Then we have that for two. Um, so I spent four on that side. Three recruit left over, and I played red. Nothing has size changing. Uh, three recruit left over. I think I'm just going to get a shield officer. So I got a Maria Hill. So that's that. Now these are reduced down. So these should just be six. Here's hoping I can fight on these. Because I don't need those to escape. Because we already have one escape.
three, four, five, and six. All right. <clears throat> Okay, all right. Uh, and it's a bystander, so animatronic clown or whatever that animatronic clown, yep. Is that what it was? Captures that bystander, which is a bystander that I want, but it still has a human shield on it. So, all right, so here, here's what we got. We have one attack, one recruit, Two attack, three attack, four attack, six attack. I have six attack. I can take out one of those Ultron thingies, which is probably what I should do because I don't want them to escape. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have six attack, take one of those out. And then I have one recruit. I can't, I played attack hero, but you are three and you are two. So nothing. Alright, one, two, that wasn't a bad turn, but would I like to have more attack, but that's okay, we're going to have to thin this deck out. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay, oh, she's range. Oh, shoot. So, does that mean that? Because that wasn't the newest one, so I should have. So, I didn't really fight this then. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize she was range. Um, so I had six attack, so I played one attack hero, so you're four attack, and then two. So what I can do is take you out for four, here in HQ, plus get side changing tech, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you side changing tech and get you for free. Wow, so many things I could have done differently. Okay, now I'm gonna take out Miss Lock. Okay, so hopefully everybody followed that. So I played um I played a tech hero, so I was able to get this down to four. Four attack. Um and then so I had six attack. So I had two left over. But when I fought that one that had that had the tech I'm size changing. It allowed me to give side changing to a character to a, a hero in the HQ this turn, and I gave it to Wonder Man because he was the only one didn't have side changing. He was two, so I can get him for free. And then with my extra two attack, I had Miss um, Lock, so I fought Miss Lock. All right, okay, all right. I think we're back on track. Let's refill this HQ. All right, and. Ultron is still one because it's, and then there's one, two, three, three um, hero classes in here and it's seven. Okay, 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 I think we're back. Scheme twist, all right. Please be a tech or range. Okay, awesome, so it's tech, it's a range. So nothing really changes, but this is Seven. Okay, all right. Now I think all that's done. So I have one, one attack, two attack, one recruit, two recruit, three recruit, and five recruit. Five recruit, and I have size changing red. Five recruit. So I can get you for two. And get a shield officer. I think I'm gonna do that. So let's do that. Oh no. So everything gets bumped up because Vision came out to play. So two, two, and two. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. <clears throat> what we have here? We have Alkama. Alkama. Um, she's empowered by instinct. And she's four, and KO a car from your discard pile is fight. Um, and I don't have any instinct in HQ right now, so she's not in power at all. So I have four, and you're also four. You have a human shield, though, so recruit, two recruit, three recruit, and attack, two attack. And I'm going to play yo yo, and yo yo gives me two recruit. And I can return her to the top of my deck, which is what it will do. And I played a range hero. See how me and you is working? So I have five recruit. And I know I'm going to get go again and two attacks. So I can't fight anything with the two attack, which sucks. With the five recruit. Um... I'm gonna go after Jocasta Reprocess. So it's two recruit, and if you dis if you discard pile is empty, you get plus two recruit. Otherwise, shuffle your discard pile to your deck. Okay. Okay. And two attack, I can't do anything with. So and that's attack. So one, two, three, four. So we're Yep, so we're good. So we got that. Okay. All right, new hand one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what do we have here? All right. Um, I'm tired of things escaping. Circus of Crime. Okay, that's my henchman group. Okay. Circus of Crime is my henchman group. I guess I'm going with a circus theme thing, which I hate the circus, so I don't know why I'm doing it. So this escape, so this is the second Evolve Ultron to escape. So we found more and we're done. Okay. So because of cram, if you fight them, you reveal top card of the deck. If it costs zero, two or less, if it costs zero, KO it. Otherwise, draw it. So that's a good thing. So one, two, three, four, five recruits. And one attack. Oh my gosh. I need to start getting some attack in here. So five recruit. I think I'm going to go for this. Um, this risky science Ant-Man. It's microscopic tech, but I don't have any tech. But if I play a tech hero, I may discard a card. If you do draw a card, and it's two attack. So it gives me attack, and it's a tech hero. So. And it takes a threat analysis now, I think. No, it doesn't. Because this one brings it up one. Of course it does. So this is three. Up three. Get us a new hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. What we got here? Um, we have a trap. So by the end of this turn, I need to pay any amount of recruit. Then I must reveal the top card of the hero deck. If I paid enough, recruit that hero and put this trap into your victory pile. Or suffer. KO that hero and pay two, play two extra cards on the hero deck. We don't want to suffer, so we're probably going to just pay to see what happens. Okay. And we have Yo-Yo here, so. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna play for a vision side, recruiting side. So one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and then I get to put her on top deck. Eight. I get empowered by tech. So, oh, I did not play. I did play tech hero because there's a tech on vision side. Um. Eight. I have eight recruits, so let me go ahead and get that. And then I get in power by tech. So there's one tech hero, 
two, three. Three tech heroes. Um, so I can pay, let's pay, let's see, what do I want out of HQ? Uh, I want this vision card, so I can size change again, so I need at least four. So I'm going to pay four, and hopefully that's enough. It was. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Okay, four, so I got Wonder Man here. This trap goes into my victory pile. Okay. And then I'm going to get this vision. Okay. And that. So we have one, two, three, four. So it should be down one. So I have five. Five attack. Uh, I'm going to attack Alchema and get the KO card from the discard pile. Of course, I'm going to KO this agent. I don't need these agents because I got Yo-Yo, first of all. It's crazy. All right. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Shuffle for one. Normally, I like to play while I'm listening to Marvel and Marvel of Marvel's podcast. If you guys don't know anything about that, I would say just checking it out because I think it's a cool podcast. Um, okay, so what do we have coming out? We have a Circus of Crimes. So I'm just going to put it right here. All right. Okay, we have a sidekick. So I'm going to play Mr. Sidekick and I get to draw two cards. Draw two cards. One, two. And what do we have? Okay, we have some more tech and we have So this is two, I get plus one for each um, card I recruited this turn. So there's that. One, recruit, attack, attack. So three recruit. And two attack. So let's see, this is, so, hmm. What am I gonna do? Okay, three recruit. Turn the size changing will take that. Won't affect this, but will affect this. Let's take it down to two. And then that's, I might as well get this. So three. So I get plus one recruit. Because I recruited a card this turn. And then. So I'll try to say the same. One, two, three. These go down one. Oh gosh, okay. These go down one. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight attack, eight attack. Um, I could easily take out the animatronic clown with the human shield. So why don't I do that? So we're gonna take you out. It's just a regular bystander. And we're gonna kill you. We get Karma, who will work perfectly with my red, with the wasp cards, because she's red, covert. And we take you out, and then that's my eight attack. All right. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. <clears throat> All right. Um, what we got next? Another threat analysis thingy for Evolved Ultron. Okay, so we take the top card there. It's a tech hero, so we're good. So we're just empowered by tech and range. So one, two, three, three. All right, but we need to start taking them out. Okay, we're gonna play this and this and this and this. So we have five recruit and she goes back on top of my deck. Five recruit and two attack. Oh, why do I only have two attack? Five recruit, I think I need to start buying attack cards. Oh, uh, five attack. Um all right. Let's see here. We can do Jocasta. I'm like all over the place with my I don't have a strategy. And let's buy a sidekick. Oh, okay. And that's all I can do. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Right, and that's a tech hero, of course it is. Oh gosh, this is not going to be fun, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I'm gonna make sure you're still recording here. All right, so one, two, three, four, three. Yep, we're good here, okay. Probably not. Uh, Master Strike. No. Alright. Reveals a tech hero or puts a puts a non gray hero from the discard out into the threat analysis stack for Ultron. So I don't have a tech hero on this hand. So let's see what I have in my discard pile. Okay, if I had another red one, I could just put it in there. I do. See, so should I put Karma or should I put Wasp? Hmm. Karma's kind of a gamble, so I'm gonna put Karma in there. Sorry, Karma. Um, still only empowered by red. Tech Hero, I have one. I have, I have one. So that's fine. I need one. All right. Um, one recruit, two recruit, one attack, three recruit, two attack. Three attack, three recruit. All right, so let's take out the Circus of Crime. Reveal top part of your deck. If it causes zero, KO it. Otherwise, draw it. All right. It caused zero, so we're going to KO it. Awesome. We have three recruit, and we played a um, Covert Hero, so we can get you for two, which is what we will do. All right. And now Ultron does not have anything because he only has, bam. He's only empowered by um, Covert. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Circus of Crime comes out again. Okay, um, uh, I'm going to play it for the attack side, so I'm playing three attack, and I'm going to play one recruit, two recruit, three recruit, five recruit, goes on top of my deck. It's the range hero, I played a range hero. So, because I play a ranger, I get empowered by range for one demand. So, there are one, there's one range hero in here. So, I have six attack. 
and three or five recruits. So I'm going to go ahead and play this again. I'm going to fight Circuits of Crime. If you have the top card in my deck, it's going to be awesome. I reveal it. I draw it. So I get to play it. Two. And put it back on top of my deck. And then I'm going to fight them again. Fight this one. Reveal the top card in my deck. Two. Get to play it. Get to put it back. All right, so what that did was that gave me four extra attack or four extra recruit. So I have nine recruit, nine recruit, and six attack I already used. I used, I used it up. Okay, so I have nine recruit, and nothing here is size changing for me because it's all the size changing text. So nine recruit. I'm going to get this solar energy vision for one. It's phasing. It's, um, I'm going to get it for three. I'm sorry. Um, it's one attack. It's phasing. And if I play the ranger, I can get plus two attack. All right. So that should work. One on me and then here you go. And I'm going to get this other vision. The same one. All right. That worked out for me in this hand. Okay, all right. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, I have no clear strategy going on here. I'm just kind of going with it. Kind of going on a whim here. Um, I had it set up for so long, I just figured I should play it. Um, another skin twist. All right, so we look at the top part of the deck. And it's range, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're empowered by range and tech. We already did that. We're gonna do that. Um, here we go. Okay, one recruit, three recruit, four recruit, five recruit, seven recruit, and nine recruit. And I get to draw a card because I played a covert hero. I recruit, play a Cobra hero. All right, I get to draw a card, which should be awesome. Please be a good card. And it's one attack. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I have nine recruit, one attack. Nine recruit, one attack, and I play Cobra heroes. Um, I'm gonna get this risky science for five. Four recruit left over. Um, I'm gonna get this thorough solid through through solid objects vision. It's two recruit and it has phasing. So it's choose a hero class. So reveal the top card of your deck. If it's that hero class you named it, then draw it. So I know that I've been playing a lot of covert on this side, so that should help me draw some covert cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, to six. I don't know where I was going for. Um, okay. Okay, so let's get some more. I need a whole lot of dye, it seems. So we yeah, have red here, so Ultron's empowered by red. And one, two, three. That works. So the evolved ultras are powered by okay, draw a card getting powered by green. There's one green hero here. I think I'm gonna draw a card instead. Okay, it would have been the same thing. Alright, so we got one attack. I'm gonna play you for your tech side. So that's four attack right now. Okay, four attack. And then because I played um, one, this gets empowered by tech. So there are three tech heroes in HQ, so I get plus three attack. All right, and I'm gonna play you. 
Then I'm going to play Yo-Yo, and because I played two Shield Heroes, I get to put on top of my deck. And let's get the... I have a lot of die coming out here today. Okay. So I have two recruit. And I'm going to play you, and it says so discard power is empty, get plus two, it's not empty. Otherwise, I can shuffle, set free discard power into your deck. All right, sounds good. So let's do that. So, I have four recruits and one, two, three, three, six, seven, ten, ten attack, ten attack. Now, I could fight Ultron, but then I also run the risk of one of these lovely things that's running out. The city, I think I'm going to fight Ultron because I always say the ultimate goal is to take out the Mastermind. I can take out the Mastermind for ten, so why not? Right? Hopefully this doesn't come to bite me in the tail. Um, let's see here. Let's choose you tactic. You. Okay. All right. This tactic says, give me one second. Fight. Put the top three cards of the hero deck into Ultron's threat and power. policy. Huh. All right. Top three cards of the hero deck goes into Ultron's threat analysis pile. So he's empowered by range and... Um, also strength now, which is good. As long as it's not tech, we're good. So I have four recruit. Um, so with the four recruit, and I play the tech hero. Um, I'm gonna take this because for changing tech. Um, yeah. So this is giant ego it man. It's two attack, string card, um, and I get plus one for each extra card you do this turn. All right, that's cool. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what do we have here? Um, it's a range hero, of course. So, one, two, three, four, four. So these should be bumped up to two, two. Okay. It's a lot to take care of right now, so, but that's okay. That's okay. And then Ultron gets bumped up by range, strength, and covert. So one, two. So three, two. All right. So I'm going to play this for two recruit. Three recruit. On attack. Four recruit. Gonna play this, and because I played a cover here, I get to have plus two attack. I'm also gonna play this one, and I get plus two attack, so I get plus four total. So I have seven attack and four recruit. Seven attack, four recruit. It's like changing covert. Seven attack. Oh my gosh, I can't fight anything. That sucks. I thought I could fight. I should have. I should do a card anyway. So with the four recruit, I played, oh, I played one, two, three covert cards. So you are minus six, so you are three. Okay, so we're gonna get you. Founding Avenger Wasp. So Founding Avenger Wasp is four attack. And if I play an Avenger hero, I get plus one for each other Avenger hero I play this turn. Awesome, it's also a covert hero. All right, but I couldn't do anything with it. Seven attack, huh? Nope, not a thing. Not a thing. Nothing changes. Okay, so you'd be two, I only had one left. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, I'm scared. Um, it's another scene to what is going on? Okay, what well, I've seen, I think I've seen every villain group and henchmen, whatnot. But this is just crazy, ridiculous. This. Okay, so now we need to do a threat analysis thingy or evolved ultra thing, and this is tech, so we're fine. So we are fine. So nothing changes. Okay. Uh, one recruit. One attack. Three recruit. Three recruit. Two attack. So I have five attack and three recruit. So five attack, three recruit. Five attack, three recruit. Oh my gosh. So you're two recruits. So let's go ahead and get you for two because side changing. And that's it, I guess. Okay, this kind of sucks. It was looking good for a moment, but now I think I've kind of, I think fighting the Ultron that first time and not clearing the city kind of screwed me a little bit, so. But that was all on me. <laughs> All on me. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Circus of crime, so this escapes. Now we're at three. So four more and we lose. Right? You will lose when seven. <gasps> when seven are in the city or have escaped. Oh my gosh. So three. So we've lost. We lost. We lost already. Oh my gosh. I hate... <laughs> so three escaped and there are four in the city. So that's seven. So yeah, we lost. We lost. That was a quick game. Quick game. Thanks for watching, friends. I'm sorry that it was so quick, but that was a quick game. For me, it was. All right. I'm going to put this up on YouTube. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we just, we lost. We lost a while ago. We lost last turn. I hate when I realize that. So, yeah, I lost. That was not fun. That was hard. <laughs> that was pretty hard, but I do like the heroes I had. Because there's so many tech heroes, it just doesn't work out. And if and two <laughs> and two power that um, empowered their you know the schemes and the evolved Ultron. So yeah, so I lost last turn. Um, so yeah, that was fun. So yeah, I might play again tomorrow. I might play some Misty Knight. Because she's next to my... I tried to play every mastermind that I have. And then I'm going to go and try to finish every scheme. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm trying to complete my legendary. Before they start adding new expansions this year. I'm going to wait again. Because I think that works for me if I wait. At least, you know, six months before. I don't need to get it as soon as it comes out. If I wait. And then I can play. But, yeah. that That sucks. <laughs> So I lost, I lost to Ultron, fun times. Um, let me start putting this away. Maybe I can turn the camera off first. And then <laughs> thank you all for watching. All right, maybe I'll be back. Bye.